And some big changes on the way for Wichita State. The university announcing its plans to, replay, to replace Cessna Stadium. As KSN's Craig Andrews reports, school leaders are asking the Board of Regents to approve a roughly $50 million project. From cheering fans every year at the state track meet to fun events, Cessna Stadium will finally come down. The aging east side would go first. You know, we've, all, we've always been proud of Cessna Stadium. It's been a historic place. As assistant director of track and field, John Weiss says the aging facility will be remembered fondly, but he's excited for the direction of a new stadium. But anything new is, is fun and exciting and, and brings attention to our program in a positive way. After winning the AAC with track and field last year, Wise says that helps recruiting, but he says campus updates like the Innovation Campus, new places to eat, a hotel, and other buildings, that new stadium will help recruiting athletes and traditional academic students. The new stadium plans have to go through design phases before any construction can begin, but it does include widening the track area, making way for more green space, and putting aluminum bleachers on the north and south sides to allow for soccer fans before tearing down Cessna Stadium itself. As for bringing in new students, some say it's a good fit. The facility is, is never the, the most important thing, uh, but it's you know part of a series of things that are important, which is the educational programs are very important. The new parts of campus are great. Here for you, Craig Andrus, KSN News 3. There has been no public talk of adding football. If approved, improvements around the track could begin by August of next year with a new stadium built after 2026. Well, that stadium has a long history. When Cessna Stadium opened in 1946, it was known as Veterans Field. And when plans to expand it were approved in 1967, Cessna Aircraft pledged a donation of $300,000 and it was renamed. At its completion two years later, it was considered one of the most modern and complete football facilities in the nation.